Hello everyone. Welcome to 360 on History for blogs, podcasts and vlogs on science, history and nature. Please check out the website 360onhistory.com, subscribe to the YouTube channel, download the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher and others. And please also follow us on social media. All the information on where you can find us is on the website and in the description box. I hope you're all safe and healthy. These are certainly very strange times, but I hope that they end soon. Our post today is about a natural phenomenon of which you may not have heard before. Most of us tend to think that the blue whale is the largest organism on earth. The blue whale certainly is the largest animal known to have ever existed on earth, but it is not the largest organism. That designation is held by Pando which is the largest organism by mass on this planet. There are honey mushrooms in Michigan and Oregon in the US known as humongous fungus that cover the largest area. But what's special about Pando is not just that it is huge, but that it is a clonal colony of one individual tree, the male quaking aspen, nicknamed the trembling giant. So although it comprises of 47,000 quaking aspen trees, it is one single organism based on its identical genetic markers, which all stem from a single massive underground root system. They are clones. How cool is that? Located in Fish Lake National Forest in Utah, United States, Pando occupies 43 hectares and is estimated to weigh 6 million kilograms, making it the heaviest known organism on the planet. And because its root system is approximately 80,000 years old, it is also among the oldest living organisms of which we know. Now, the estimation of its age is based on a number of complex factors, such as its environment, the changes in the environment and geology in the last 10,000 years, climate history, and the rate of growth. So it's not exact. Quaking aspens usually reproduce asexually from their root system, with each stem belonging to that single root system. It is quite rare for quaking aspens to be made of individuals. They are generally clonal colonies of genetically identical stems. Pando's 47,000 stems die individually and a new one grows from the same root. The average age of each stem is about 130 years, estimated from the tree rings. The word Pando means I grow in Latin and although it has been growing for thousands of years, it is now under threat. A study published in 2018 showed that Pando is not regenerating the way it should. In some areas of the whole grove, there were no young or even middle-aged trees. The culprits seem to be deer and cattle that have been eating away on young saplings. Mule deer have proliferated in the area after humans hunted out their predators such as wolves, mountain lions and grizzly bears. Plus, Ranchers are allowed to graze their cattle in the area for two weeks every year. Over 70 years of aerial photography shows that in the 1930s, the tops of the trees were touching, but now there are many gaps. Drought is also having its impact. Now the mature trees in the grove are reaching the end of their lifetime of 100 to 130 years, and Pando needs time to allow new growth to mature. And this can only be achieved if grazers are kept away from it. Basically, it needs a mega conservation project to enable it to survive. Think about it, an organism around for thousands of, thousands of years, a clone that existed before we even thought of cloning, and we have brought it to the point of extinction. I'm definitely putting Pando on my bucket list 
to go see it before it disappears from Earth. If you want to know more, the link to the study can be found in the description box. Thank you for joining me today on 360 on History. See you next time. Thank you.